In this mid exclusive, we headed over to the 42nd 1 District Courthouse in Bruce Township, Michigan, to witness the swearing in of Jennifer Andary as the first female magistrate in Macomb County. Jennifer Andary was sworn in by Michigan Supreme Court Justice David Viviano. Jennifer also received special recognition from the state of Michigan as well as the Italian Bar Association. So you've had such an interesting career. You've been able to help so many people, and you've really made a difference in upholding justice in so many different areas, as Mr. Lucido said earlier. What's it like for you to take this next step and become the magistrate at 42nd-1? I think that being able to take this next step is it's going to give me a, a, a greater reach to be able to, to help people and have, have a, a greater opportunity and, and things um, that I'm able to, to take from. Um, that I'm able to help people and ensure that justice is served and that people are protected in every way that they should be. And is this something that you've um, aspired to? Is this something that you knew you wanted to do for a while? I or didn't how know did this... I wanted to do it until I was I was asked to do it. Um, uh, I, I ultimately I, I'm certain that uh, uh, a career on the bench might be something that really could prove very. Um, beneficial uh, to to help the community um, to have that as a, a a post to be able to use that as, as a, a kind of a starting block to be able to get people the help that they need absolutely and now where do you draw I just want to ask a little bit about where do you draw um, your motivation from or what what inspired you to you know take this path of public service and you know helping people and upholding justice you know uh, my father is an attorney and I think at a very early age, my father, I saw how he would help people. And um, whether he was helping represent somebody, whether he was representing labor unions, um, he was doing it for people. And when I, 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 took, I took a step back and I thought, it's not about me, it's about helping other people. And you, you get such satisfaction in being able to ensure that, that people get the help that they need, get get the results that they need, um, have the kind of um, kind of a guide through if they're involved in this system. It's it's not that often that somebody shows them this is what you do first, this is what you do second, because usually when people do get in trouble they have absolutely no idea, you know, what what's going on. So to have that in there, you know, I, I thought about, hmm, what can I do if I want to be a lawyer? What can I do? And and, and really helping people was just always right there. Thank you. Well, I just want to say um, on behalf of myself personally and the MIT.TV, we just all want to wish the best you know, for you up here in your next journey in the career and congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. We got to catch up with some local officials that had these kind words to say to Jennifer. Uh, Jennifer, uh, congratulations on uh, your appointment as a magistrate out here in the Romeo District Court. Uh, uh, I know myself and my detectives and all the men and women at the Sheriff's Office uh, congratulate you on your appointment and wish you the best. Hello, on behalf of the Italian American Cultural Center and the Italian American community, it's proud to welcome Jennifer Andary as our new magistrate here. And uh, we wish her nothing but the best of luck to her and her family and much success. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Pete Lucido. I'm the state representative in the 36th district and I'm happy, proud, and humbled to be here today for Jennifer Ann Derry's swearing in as our magistrate here in the 42nd-1 district court. You know, most importantly, as a colleague of mine, Jennifer has been a proven leader and a champion for ensuring equality and justice. She served in the Macomb County Prosecutor's Office, took care of victim advocates' rights, took care of children, most importantly, and still does today. She's also prosecuting over in the Clinton Township Court and in addition, private practice. She knows the value of what it means to ensure that justice is done and justice is served. Jennifer, I wish you the greatest of luck, happiness, and humility in your new career as a magistrate out here in a wonderful town. Most importantly, spend some time with your family. They grow up fast.